Hey guys, um, I have gotten a few requests to uh, try to explain the setup of the King Tech uh, telemetry unit with a Fataba radio. So I'm going to do my best to try to explain it here. I've got a King Tech 85, uh, Fataba 16iZ. Everything's hooked up. Uh, it's currently powered. The receiver's bound to the radio. And I'm just going to walk through the setup. Everything's connected. Obviously, there's no fuel lines or anything here. So all the connections to the uh, uh, ECU are as they should be. So we'll start with the throttle line, which is on the back here. The throttle line goes to the uh, receiver throttle on the ECU, like it always would. You have a S bus 2 cable running to the S bus or the uh, output for the telemetry to the receiver. And then the there's two ports on the side here. There's a top and a bottom. The bottom one runs from the, the telemetry module to the uh, GSU port on the ECU and then the top port where it says GCU is where you plug in your GSU screen now to set it up on the radio this is a blank model um, you can see there are um, let's see if I can get focus here there are no slots assigned I did count them earlier. It takes 14 slots for the telemetry module. So there's nothing in here right now. So to start, obviously hook it up. Receiver bound. Everything's powered. Here's my GSU screen. We'll go to the main menu. Go to radio. And you'll get telemetry config. So we'll hit 2 to enter the configuration. And what you want to do is you want to select Fataba JC V10. And when you go into that menu, hang on, back that back up. You got to go into the menu. And now you can select which slot on the radio you want it to start with. So you're going to need 14 consecutive slots. I just left it at eight. You can uh, you can change it to whatever you want. Here we can change it to let's change it to ten. We go to next. Now in the radio, it will show the fuel capacity, but you can't set it in the radio. It has to be set here. So the airplane this engine is going to go in is going to have a about a two liter tank so you can set your fuel capacity here I'm going to set this to 2,000 milliliters okay and you got all your pump factors whether it's a twin none of this stuff really matters uh, it's just all personal setup whether you want your Temperatures in Celsius, and then we save, and that's all done. Now we're done with this section. We come over to the, so from the main screen, linkage menu, sensor, and we chose slot number 10. So we're going to hit slot 10, and you're going to select JetCat V10. You don't need anything in the ID, and you can see here that it goes 10 to 23, so 14 slots. And if we go back and we go into the telemetry menu, there it is right there. So we've already got everything, engine RPM, EGT, pump voltage, engine RPM. Uh, I believe I have to cycle the power in order for this to change so here we can we can try that so right now it's reading 
5,000 milliliters. So we're going to back out of this. I'm going to shut the receiver down, shut the radio off. Radio's back on. And let me plug this in quick. There we go. Everything's powered up. Normal start screen. And we go into the telemetry. Jet cat. And now it has changed to 2000 milliliters. So whatever you change in the telemetry settings in here, you have to restart the system in order for it to display on here. Now not all these settings are here, are available on here, but most of the stuff that everybody's concerned with is here. Now, I had one question about setting an alarm for the engine RPM, and you can do that. Um, the problem is the Unfortunately, they only let you do it 10 RPMs at a time. So you got to sit here and hold this thing until you get up to an RPM that you want it to go off at. I haven't done that yet just because I don't feel like sitting here and holding this for 10 minutes. But right, we can also test this out here. So right now it says engine RPM is zero. Go in here, we can test. Let's see, it's a brand new engine. I haven't, I have not installed it or ran it yet. And we can go to test the starter. Starter on. And you can see we've got engine RPM. It's a little cold in my garage today. It's 62 degrees, so. That's what the uh, EGT is reading. Uh, but that's about it. That's pretty much it for the setup. It's actually relatively simple. The hardest part I found was uh, um, connect, figuring out which wires to connect where. So again, it's the GSU plugs into the top port on here. The bottom port plugs into the GSU slot on the, EC, the uh, ECU. Throttle cable runs to the receiver. And the S bus 2 wire leads to the telemetry unit. I hope this helps. Um, like I said I don't know these informational videos very often, but thought I'd give it a shot. I had a couple of people asking me about it. So hope this helps, and uh, we'll make another video later.